Sister-in-laws at war, Princess Catherine and Meghan Markle. Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, thank you everyone for liking, subscribing, commenting. I love hearing from you people. Um, and, and new people, welcome to my channel. Thank you so, so much. Um, this one is a follow on for my previous Royal Energies that I've been doing. Uh, I've, I hope you can, uh, have a look at the other ones that I've got as well and you'll probably know why I'm doing this one uh, technically Catherine's been very very quiet and Megan has showed up in everything Megan has been behind a lot of things and a lot of the controversy and I wasn't reading for her or on her I was actually reading about the the father and the two boys and and the triangle and everything but Megan just is coming through strong and manipulating it so i'm also reading about how she's doing or what is she doing with catherine i bought the girls out this time the one the modern witch one and yeah girl on girl let's let's find out uh energies on catherine and megan markle Energies on Catherine and Meghan Markle. I mean, at the end of the day, despite the fact that I know that a couple of my readings have clearly said that they are separated and there's going to be a divorce and the melodrama motocito, as I like to call them now, um, thanks to, yeah, our fellow YouTuber, uh, we, we have decided that we need to find out Sorry, we I'm talking about me, myself and I <laughs> trying to multitask here and concentrate at the same time. It's a bit late. I hope these cards are, are clear and the lights aren't playing up too much. All right, Catherine and Megan, Catherine and Megan, stay focused. Catherine and Megan, energies please. Catherine, Princess Catherine and Megan Markle. Energies on Princess Catherine and Megan Markle. One very, very quiet person and one extremely loud vocal mm, okay not a pentacles okay one extremely loud and vocal all over the internet okay energies please catherine and megan markle princess catherine and megan markle energies please All right, let's see what the girls have to say. All right, Nine of Pentacles. Well, someone sees herself as very, very worthy and more capable of looking after herself uh, without needing uh, a male. Uh, not so happy family. Not so happy family. Definitely not. There's no love loss between these two. Um, more so how Megan has come across and, and treated her, definitely. King of Knights, reverse. Sorry, King of... Knight of Cups. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, Knight of Cups, reverse. Uh, no shining armour. Four of Pentacles, reverse. Someone letting go. Someone letting go. And we have here... I can spread this across here. <coughs> Sorry, we have here the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so we have good luck. Someone's sitting on top of the world and someone is under the world. As it moves, these, they need to move as well. So a change needs to be made. A definite change need, needs to be made. Um, it can be good luck. There's also money as well involved. You've got, <coughs> excuse me, the Knight of Cups. No shining armor here for the person that sees herself as a single person. You've got someone that is letting go. She's done holding on. She's done holding things. She's going to let go because it's creating not very happy families. The magician is a manipulation when it's reversed. The sun reverses in the dark. No second chances. Three of Wands, 
waiting, someone there has been a deal done, there's been a deal done and someone is just waiting, just waiting for it to come through. For the celebration at home, the celebration at home, the happy families that have been manipulated. Oh, there she is. There she is. 78 cards, or this one, I think they're 79. I think they've got two ten of swords, technically. There she is. Queen of Wands. And the Six of Wands. With the Hierophant. With not a very, very happy hierarchy. So what I'm getting from this card is this one is waiting for something to happen. There's been something that has, yeah, like uh, normally you hold on to something and now you've let it go, okay? You've got this, this person here, the Queen of Wands, sees herself as a single person and she's sitting on top of the world. She's not even looking at the, about the person that she's technically thrown under the bus, okay? I call it how it is, people. Sorry. It's uh, allegedly and entertainment purposes only. Uh, there's a couple here that think that they're victorious or, or see themselves as being victorious, victorious, uh, a victory here in their home. There's upset the Hierophant, the royal family. You've got the eight uh, page of pentacles here. Page of pentacles is uh, an offering, an offering uh, a change, some sort of change that was supposed to have been offered. So I would say that the Hierophant has offered this person here to make a change. And the fact that it's negative, uh, sorry, negative reverse, well, yeah, it's, it, it's a negative card. There's two pages here as well. Could be about the kids. Could be about the kids. Um, I'm not too sure about their their star signs uh, or their zodiacs or their birth signs. I actually haven't. I, I don't read on kids. They are way too young. So let's just run with two kids here. Just run with two kids because they're both negative energy and, and pages and messages. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is Catherine. So Catherine has come through. This is the first time I've seen Catherine in all these readings. So thank you. Thank you, cards. This is the first time that Catherine has come through and she is worried about the negativity that this person here is creating on the royal family, especially with two children. And just to support my theory and uh, what the cards are telling me, here's the King of Swords reverse, and this is William's card, and he is not happy, which we know. We've seen this in every reading so far. We know he's not happy uh, with the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Wands is a traveller. Predominantly, the Knight of Wands is a traveller, and he's... Uh, a bit of a loose unit you could say he has been in the military in the past um uh yeah let's just keep going trying to make a change this knight of wands is trying to make a change ace of cups sometimes my messages come through a little bit uh when i'm quiet so if that's what happens. Sometimes I, I come through a little bit after speaking with the messages. Ace of Cups, offering of love, offering of feelings, emotions, not ending. Something is not ending. Something is not ending here the, for the world to be reversed or never ending with the Four of Swords. And strength. So here's Megan's card again. 
This is Megan's kind of gank with the King of Wands. The King of Wands sometimes is a surprise, you know, when it comes through. I really, really have no idea sometimes why the King of Wands comes through. But when it does come through, it's always attached to Megan. So it's like some sort of manager or something. Um, if it was who I would say it would be Ari because I know that, that he is uh, a Wands. Um, yeah, yeah. Normally shows up every time Megan's card shows up and this is MM's card, this is a Leo card and this is what the reading is about, uh, about Catherine and, and Megan and where the energy is. Um all right, let's see if we can nut out this this nine of wands you have defeated defeated given up the nine of wands reverse is a a, a given up card whatever the bs that was going around before has now stopped it is now stopped with the uh nine of wands and the Eight of Wands being defeated. So this this King of Wands, huh, to me, I would say, has given up. Has given up despite the fact that there's uh, unrest here, there's unrest here, and never ending. Ruthless, you could probably say that this uh, Strength card has come through. Ego-driven, massively ego-driven. Uh, it's uh, Strength's all about the e ego. You've got the King of Pentacles here. King of Pentacles, uh, let me think, King of Pentacles. Well, um, I don't want to say it, but if we're referring to the Strength card, because we now have the Lovers as well, and it's reverse, and then we've got the King of Pentacles. This is Megan, Harry. And them not 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 so happy, not so happy now, not so lovey dovey, not so kissy kissy and handy handy or whatever. Although I don't think I've ever seen them kiss, but yeah, I mean she would always always claw or maul or you know he couldn't walk on his own kind of thing. Um, you're not seeing a lot of that anymore. You're not seeing all the the gushing and the looking. You're seeing more manipulating, manipulating manipulating here you're not seeing manifesting where she's manifesting something she's been there she's done that she's manifested it she's now manipulating the whole thing that's upsetting the whole family uh she actually sees herself as single which is ironic absolutely ironic um she has set upset catherine uh oh wow i'm so sorry people Maybe I shouldn't use these cards or, or make sure I'm looking, make sure I'm looking when I'm talking. Yeah, so you've got the, uh, you've got the lovers now. You've had strength from the previous confirming about the lovers. Lots of crystals <laughs> that need to unburden themselves. Okay, so. Ah, with the relationship with Catherine, let's have a quick look back. She did show up with an angry, very, very angry William that um, about two kids, two, two children, the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles and the hierarchy. I wonder, I wonder if these two have been attacking two of the three children if we go back and check the birth dates, <coughs> excuse me, you'll probably find that you've got two of the three children here. And this is what this is what's been happening. Um, I have a feeling, I have a feeling that Harry and Megan are waiting for something to happen to come in and be victorious. I'm sure I saw that. To come home, yeah, yeah, to come home and be victorious. 
what are they waiting for? What are they waiting for? Because here, this is an unburden, unburdening themselves. The King of Cups. Oh, no. Here we go. Ace of Swords. Here we go. Here we go. Chariot. And the Fool. And the Queen of Swords. Absolutely. Absolutely. It took a bit. The girls were quiet. There was manipulation from the very beginning. But the girls came out eventually. Okay, so the unburdening, when the king hands over the throne, the new beginning, the truth will come out from William. He will take a leave for faith. And in the meantime, there will be a divorce. Whether he will... Uh, be able to arrange this divorce or someone's holding off on not getting a divorce until William is in power because there's two people involved that mean a lot. That mean a lot to two, 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 this person here. And that, my friends, is what the cards are saying. And that is why I keep getting this card or this person's cards coming up. It's either the Queen of Wands or and or it's a strength. And I think we got them both out coming out here. Uh, the first time I ever saw Catherine and I had to pull it out on the energy. She is very, very quiet. She is very, very quiet. William here is very, very upset because of what's happened. Because there's your Queen of Wands here. And then later down here you've got the strength. But he's going to come. He's going to he's going to definitely take over. And maybe that is when the divorce will ha happen and she will get her wish as a single mother. In the meantime, Catherine is just protecting a couple of young ones and the hierarchy. Hmm. That's what they're waiting for something to happen. They're waiting for something to happen. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you very, very much for all that. Um, yeah, definitely. I'd be at war if my sister and all did that to me too. So on that note, thank you again. Uh, please like and subscribe and comment. Please comment if you see anything like this. I always love to hear from other people and and, and what energies they're getting um, from these cards because uh, there's hundreds and hundreds of ways to interpret things and, of course, it depends on, on what energies you're invoking at the time. So, yeah, until next time, thank you very, very much and bye. <laughs>